Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the parabola. Transforming general form to standard form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is just part 1 of our video class in which the number before y squared x squared is just 1. So understood that any variable, if you didn't see any number, understood to be 1 class. The numerical coefficient of this given example is just 1. Now the next part of our video class will be quite tricky. Since the number before x squared and y squared is greater than 1, so we have 5y squared minus 24x minus 30y minus 51 equals 0. Same with number 2, the number before x squared is greater than 1. So what would be the thing that we will do if you have this kind of example? So I will just put the link class in the description down below with regards to the part 2 of our video. Alright, so let's focus first in this part 1 of our video. So understood class, if you, did, if you see a variable without any number, understood that the number before this variable is 1. So the standard form of the parabola, so if you have y squared, this will be your equation, quantity y minus k squared equals 4p, quantity x minus h. Now if you have x squared in your equation, this will be your answer, quantity x minus h squared equals 4p, quantity y minus k. So let's transform this one into the standard form. Let's start with number 1. Alright, so let me copy the equation. Plus 32 equals 0. So first thing class is you, you, just, you just simply copy y squared. So copy y squared. And then you transpose this 8x and 32 from left to right. So transpose 8x. Same with 32. So this is positive. You change the sign class. So once again, once you transfer an equation from this equal sign, you always change the sign. So this will be y squared equals, this is positive 8, it will be negative 8x. This is positive 32, it will be negative 32. Alright, so if you have this kind of example class, you have given y squared and then no linear term for y. So example for linear term class, we have 5y, then 3y. You only have given y squared and you don't have a linear term, a number, together with a variable y. So therefore, we cannot do the completing the square in this number 1. So that's why we just simply sub transpose x and the constant from left to right. Because if we have y squared and we also have 3y, and then we can do the completing the square. Example for that class is number 4. We have y squared and we also have the linear term 6y. Therefore, for number 4 class, we can do the completing the square. Because we have the quadratic term, we have y squared, and we have the linear term. For number 1 class, we have the quadratic term, a number, uh, no, a variable with the exponent of 2. And then we don't have the linear term, so therefore, we cannot do the completing the square. We just simply copy y squared and then transpose x, same with 32. Alright, so transpose x, same with 32. Next step class is we need to factor this out. You think of a number class that we can divide by negative 8 and negative 32. Can we factor this out by negative 8? Yep, we can factor this out by negative 8. Mostly class, you just simply copy the number before x. So the number before x is negative 8. Therefore, we can factor this out by negative 8. Alright, so when you divide, you need to divide class. Negative 8x divided by negative 8. That's positive 1 x divided by none, simply copy x. 1x, or you can write it x class. That's the same class. 1x or x is just the same. Understood that there's a number 1 before x. So this will be x. Alright, now do not forget to put parentheses. Then negative 32 divided by negative 8. Negative 32 divided by negative 8. Negative divided by negative is positive. 32 divided by 8, that's positive 4. Alright, plus 4. You can also check class by distributive property if your factor is correct. So negative 8 times x, that's negative 8x. Negative 8 times positive 32, negative times positive is negative. 8 times 4 is 32. So therefore, this factor is correct. Okay, this is just the same sign. This is just the same class. We just factor it out by negative 8. Alright, and that's it class. This will be your answer. Easy for number 1, right? So this will be your answer. Now the teacher will ask to find the vertex. So vertex class, that would be h and k. h comma k. 
So your vertex class, your h is beside, check the equation class, your h is beside x. So therefore, h is beside x. Now this will be our equation class y. Alright? So y quantity y minus k squared equals 4p quantity x minus h. Since we have y squared. So this will be our equation for number 1. So your h is beside your h beside x, so therefore, this is positive for, once this is positive, you get the additive inverse, class. Get the additive inverse. So therefore, your h is negative 4. And for your k, since we don't have a number beside y squared, so we don't have a number beside y squared, understood that your k is 0. That's automatic, class. If you don't have a number beside x squared or y squared, that's automatic, your k is 0. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 1. Easy, right? For number one so let's try number two so once again class if you have some questions do not hesitate to ask you put your questions on the comment section down below all right number two class so number two x squared minus 8y minus 56 equals zero so therefore we need we have this equation we have this answer so copy x squared and then you transpose the y variables, 8y together with a constant, negative 56. Then equals, this is negative. Once you transpose, you change it, you change the sign, it will be positive 8y. This is negative 56. You change the sign, it will be positive 56. Alright, so copy x squared. Now check plus 8 and 56. Can we factor this out by 8? Can we divide 8 by 8? Yup, we can divide 8 by 8. Can we divide 56 by 8? Yep, we can divide 56 by 8. But mostly, class, you just simply copy the first number before this variable y. So, copy 8. Mostly, class, mostly. So, once again, you can factor this out by 8. So, divide, class, 8y divided by 8. So, 8y divided by 8. So, 8 divided by 8 is 1. y divided by none, copy y. So, y. And then, 56 divided by 8. So, 56 divided by 8, that would be 7 plus 7. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 2. Easy for number 1 and 2, right? So, that's the answer. You can multiply, class, to check your answer is correct. 8 times y is 8y. 8 times positive 7, that's positive 56. So, your vertex, okay? Vertex h and k. So, your h, class, is beside... Your h is beside x. So once again, this is your equation. Because we have quantity x minus h square, we have x square. So your h is beside x. We didn't see any number beside x squared. So therefore, your h is 0. And your k is beside, your k is beside y. This is positive 7. You get the additive inverse. Your answer is negative 7 for k. Alright, that's it class. 0 and negative 7 for the vertex of number 2. Easy, right? For number 2. Alright, so let's try number 3. So, x squared minus 4x plus 12y plus 4 equals 0. So once again, you separate the x variables and the y variables together with a constant. So, copy x squared. Then, copy negative 4x. Then, you put a space class because we can do completing the square. Once again, we can do the completing the square if we have x squared and we have a linear term. Once again, we call it linear term because the highest exponent of this x is 1. So, we have x squared and we have a number together with x raised to the power of 1. Therefore, we can do the completing the square for number 3. So, then, equal sign. You put a space class because we need to add a new number here. So you put a space, then you transpose 12, okay, this 12 and positive 4, because we need to follow this format. The y variables must be on the right side of this equal sign. So this is positive 12, it will be negative 12y. This is positive 4, it will be negative 4. Alright, and what will be the number, sir, that we will be adding on this equation? So we do have the formula class, that would be b divided by 2, quantity squared. So our B class is beside X, the linear term. So beside X, that would be negative 4 divided by 2, quantity squared. So negative 4 divided by 2, that's negative 2, quantity squared. 
negative 2 squared plus, it means negative 2 times negative 2. You multiply negative 2 by itself twice. Negative 2 times negative 2, that would be positive 4. So therefore, you will add 4 on the left side of the equa equation. You will also add 4 on the right side to make the equation balance class. Now, after this one class is we need to make this perfect square trinomial into a square of binomial. What to do, sir? Easy class. Just get the square root of the first term. The square root of x squared is x. And then you get the square root of the last term. The square root of 4 is 2. And then you copy the sign of the middle term. Then you put parenthesis or quantity, then squared. That's it. Easy, right? So once again, this... Once you, cook, once you do the completing the square class, your answer is a perfect square trinomial in which you can make into square root binomial easily by getting the square root of the first term, square root of x squared, that's x, is square root of the last term, is square root of 4 is 2, copy the sign of the middle term, negative, quantity, then squared, that's it. Then equals, this is negative 12y, so negative 4 plus 4, so negative 4 plus 4, that would be 0 class. So if the signs are not the same, subtract. So 4 minus 4 is 0. So you can cancel this out. Alright, and that would be your equation class. Quantity x minus 2 squared equals negative 12y. So if the teacher will ask you for the vertex, so your vertex will be... Okay, let me just erase this one. So your vertex will be h and k. So your h class is beside your h is beside x, so therefore this is negative 2, you get the additive inverse. Once again, plus this is our equation, we have x squared, so x is beside h. Always, Just always remember this one class, your h must be always beside x and your k must be always beside y. So this is negative 2, you get the additive inverse, your h will be positive 2. And for k class, since we don't have a number beside y, this one, on the right side, so your k is 0. That's automatic class. You didn't see any number beside y, this one. Not here class, this one. For y, that, is, that should be in parenthesis class. Because you can write this one class, if you really want to put 0, you can write this one as negative 12, then parenthesis y plus 0. Even if we check this one class by distributive property, negative 12 times y, that's negative 12y, negative 12 times 0, that is 0. Okay? That is 0. So you can cancel this out. So therefore, that is negative 12y. So just it's just understood plus. If you didn't see any number beside y or any parenthesis for y, therefore your k is 0. Alright, so that's the answer for number 3. Easy, right? Let's try number 4. So once again, we have y squared, therefore, our answer is this one. Alright, so let's, so you need to separate the y variables and the x variables. So copy y squared, and then copy 6y. You put a space because we need to add a new constant. Then equal sign. You transpose 20 from left to right, 20x, and also the 89 from left to right. This is positive. It will be negative 20x. This is positive 89, it will be negative 89. Alright, and then we do the completing the square, we will be adding a new constant here. And the formula, that would be b divided by 2, quantity squared. And our b class is beside y, the linear term. So our b is 6. So 6 divided by 2, quantity squared. 6 divided by 2 plus, that would be 3 squared. So once again, class, do not be confused with 3 squared. It means you multiply 3 by itself twice. This will be equal to 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. Alright, so plus 9. Now once you add 9 on the left side, you also add 9 on the right side. So plus 9. And then this will be, once again, you make, this is a perfect square trinomial. We make it into square of binomial. How to do that one, sir? Just get the square root of the first term, square root of y squared is y, and then the square root of the last term, square root of 9 is 3. Then you copy the sign of the middle term, which is positive. You put quantity, then squared. That's it, class. Easy, right? Get the square root of the first term, square root of the last term, square root of 9 is 3, 
copy the sign to the middle term, you put quantity, then squared. A per perfect square trinomial, you make it into square of binomial. Equals, so copy negative 20x. And then negative eight, 89 plus 9, if the signs are not the same, subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. Absolute value, larger absolute value. So this will be 89 minus 9, that's 80. And since 89 is greater than 9, so we have negative 80. Once again, class, if the signs are not the same, I hope you know this one, class. Addition of integers for unlike signs. If the signs are not the same, subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. So 89 minus 9 is 89 minus 9 is 80. 89 is greater than 9, so we copy the sign of the 89, which is negative. Alright, and then, so this will be y plus 3 squared equals so check class can we factor this out by negative 20 can we divide negative 20 by negative 20 yep we can divide negative 20 by 20 okay let me divide this one negative 20 divided by negative 20 negative 20 x sorry negative 20 x so we can factor this out by negative 20 and then you divide negative 20 x divided by negative 20 so negative 20 divided by negative 20 is 1, positive 1. x divided by none is copy. 1x or x. Okay? Mostly class, to factor this out, they just simply copy the number before this variable. So copy negative 20. And then they divide. Negative 20x divided by negative 20, that's positive 1x. And then negative 80 divided by negative 20. Negative 80 divided by negative 20. Negative divided by negative is positive. 80 divided by 20 is 4. So, positive 4. Close parenthesis. Or you can check your answer class by distributive property. Negative 20 times x, that's negative 20x. Negative 20 times positive 4, that's negative 80. Therefore, your factor is correct. This is correct class. Alright, and this will be your answer class for number 4. So, the vertex, once again, h and k. So, vertex h and k, h comma k. So, the vertex h is beside x. So, this is positive 4. You get the additive inverse. Your h will be negative 4. hk and your k is beside y. If this is positive 3, your k is negative 3. That's it plus for the vertex. All set for numbers 1 to 4. So, if you have some questions with this one plus, feel free. So leave a comment in the comment section down below because we will be answering that one. Once again, the part 2 of our video class will be quite tricky. So this will be the example of our part 2. The number before y squared and x squared is greater than 1. So what would be the thing that we will do if we have this kind of example? So I will just put the link class in the description down below on how to solve the part 2 of our video. So once again, if you like this video, if this video helps, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends class and to your classmates so that we can help more students. This is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye.